Welcome to part two, disassembling your Vespa carburetor. For this part of the job, you are going to need the following tools on hand. A bladed screwdriver, a socket wrench with an eight millimeter head and spanner, small needle nose pliers, and rubber work gloves. Now that we have the carburetor body out of your Vespa, it's time to pull it apart. For this part of the job, you can either use a bladed screwdriver or an eight millimeter socket wrench. Start by loosening the longer float assembly screw followed by the shorter float assembly screw found on the float section of the carburetor. With both off, you should be able to pull up the float assembly section. Place the carburetor body aside for the moment and let's focus on the float assembly. Using the tip of a flat bladed screwdriver, you can push slightly on that little pivot pin until you see it pop out at the other side. Now using needle nose pliers, grab that pivot pin and pull it out. Once the pivot pin has been pulled out, the float and the float pin will both become loose and you should place both of these aside. Once you've done that, you should pull the paper gasket away from the float assembly. The next step is to turn the float assembly back over and find the screw on the top of it. For this, you'll want to use a bladed screwdriver to loosen this particular screw and remove the open cover. Inside, you'll see a small plastic fuel filter and a fiber gasket within the lid. Use the same bladed screwdriver to remove both. Now it's time to remove all the jets. The first jet we're going to locate and pull is the starter jet, which is located next to the carburetor bowl and the choke lever. It is recessed down inside the carburetor, so you'll want to use a smaller bladed screwdriver to unscrew and pull it out. Place aside with all the other metal parts. Next, we're going to locate the remaining two jets, these being the main and the idle jet. These can be found integrated with the slide and stack in the middle of the carburetor. Just like the starter jet, you're going to want to use a bladed screwdriver to unscrew and remove these. Now that we've pulled all three of the jets, let's take a look at the big main jet. This jet, we're going to need to pull it apart by hand. The main jet stack breaks into the three pieces, which are the main jet bottom, atomizer, which is the middle, and the top core corrector, which is on top. Place these back with the other jets and bits and pieces for cleaning later on. Next step, we're going to remove the air adjustment screw, which is located at the bottom rear of the carburetor. You should be able to use your fingers here, but you can also use a bladed screwdriver to loosen and remove this. Once completed, you can put this with the other metal parts for cleaning. Now, it's time to remove the choke lever. For this, we will use a bladed screwdriver, which we'll use to loosen and remove the one screw that holds the lever to the carburetor. Once you've unscrewed it, the lever itself should pull straight out. Place this with your other metal items for later cleaning. Next up, turn the carburetor body over. Now look for a small black rubber ring on the bottom of the carburetor. This should be removable with your fingers. If not, you can use that bladed screwdriver. Now turn your carburetor right side up again. Unscrew the idle adjustment screw with your fingers. Take care with the spring. Place aside with all the other metal parts. Finally, we're ready to remove the main slide. Using a bladed screwdriver, loosen and remove both the front screws on the front of the main slide. Once removed, gently pull the slide out. You'll want to further disassemble this into the slide, the spring, the pin slide, and the front piece. The middle piece is going to be put with your other metal pieces for later, for later cleaning, and your one little rubber piece you should place aside. 